What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the George Men's and Big Men's long sleeve stretch poplin shirt up to 5XLT I picked up at Walmart for $12.86. Out of five stars, this shirt gets five out of five out of 52 customer reviews. This shirt does come in a variety of colors and patterns. Here in front of us today, we have blue and blue check. This shirt, like I said, does range in between sizes extra small and 5XL. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions to see if this shirt is a good look at $12.86. It will be Thanksgiving and then afterwards Christmas. We're going to be spending a lot of time over at family and friends houses. Yeah, what better way to go and go in style and for less money than this shirt right in front of us here today. That's right. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing and first impressions. I'm gonna show you around the shirt and then stick around for the end of the video where I try it on and you can see how it looks for yourself. Okay, so here we have the Stretch Poplar shirt. I did pick them up in an extra large, which equates to a 46 to a 48. As you can probably tell by this tag here, uh, they are both wrinkle resistant, which is really awesome. Uh, these are classic fit shirts. One thing I wanna point out about this solid color shirt here is if you want this shirt in a solid color, your two options are this blue right here and another color, white. It's sort of an off-white cream. Uh, once you get into the patterned colored variants of this shirt, there are plenty to choose from. I would say probably eight to 10 different patterns to choose from in different colors. Uh, this one is blue check. Let's go ahead and just move the blue shirt off to the side here momentarily so that I can actually show you uh, the blue check shirt. Uh, it is buttoned down all the way there. What's really nice is you do get buttons on the collar. There is a front pocket, which uh, is actually pretty decently sized here. Uh, there's actually some deviated stitching around it. It's good enough for a 4.7 inch iPhone SE. Uh, what you'll notice about this shirt is you can button the cuff here. You have two different size options. If you want to wear the cuff a little bit tighter or a little bit more loose, you can. Uh, and if you would like to open up the forearm for a little bit more air to pass through, you can do that as well. As you can see, I just buttoned it up there. Uh, on the cuff here, you can see uh, that there is some deviated stitching there to give it some character and to give it that extra quality look. It is made in Bangladesh. Really pretty nice quality shirt. I don't see any problems with stitching here, but what's really interesting is Walmart did a pretty good job of uh, piecing these panels together, these panels of fabric together, and it is just slightly off. They're not exactly lined up perfectly, but uh, you can definitely see uh, that the pattern does change, obviously, between uh, the back of the shirt and the sleeve here. On the sleeves, the pattern is sort of perpendicular to the back of the shirt here, obviously. And last but not least, before we try on both shirts, like I said, I did pick them up in an extra large. We're gonna take a look at the blue shirt here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take off some of these tags here. Uh, even though they are not on the same page on Walmart's website, which is a little bit interesting. Nonetheless, you're gonna find the exact same features here. Uh, they are both classic fit. They are both $12.86. Uh, both have the button down collar. I do wanna show you the difference between a button down collar and an unbuttoned collar. Uh, but as you can tell, it's the same quality here the same features at the sleeve. Uh, you do get a cuff with two buttoned options to adjust here. And if you want to, uh, a forearm button here so that you can uh, allow the shirt to breathe a little bit better or so you can roll the sleeves up if you'd like. Uh, it's built the same way. Uh, what's really nice about this solid color shirt compared to the blue check shirt is you're not gonna have those patterns misaligned uh, because it's all just one solid color, 
you really will not tell the difference uh, between one piece of fabric and another piece of fabric stitched together. Uh, it is slightly pleated on the back of the shirt. I did uh, want to mention this about the blue check shirt as well, but I was just a little bit worried you could not see the pleat. Let's go ahead and try each shirt on and see what they look like. There are a couple little uh, holes where it looks like a button or buttons could be placed, uh, sort of missing from the shirt or maybe they were put there and then uh, decided to not put buttons there. Not quite sure what the deal with that is, but I just wanted to let you know that it wasn't something that I'm a fan of. Also, I wanna point out that I'm not wearing an undershirt for this experiment. It's not the most uh, comfortable material, I would say. It's a little bit itchy. Uh, maybe it just needs to be worked out a little bit, thrown in the wash, I don't know, but uh, definitely wear an undershirt. Uh, also, I want to point out momentarily that I do have the sleeve on uh, one button here instead of two buttons. Uh, and actually putting the shirt on, I was able to slip my hand uh, right through even though the sleeve was still buttoned. And I have fairly large hands. So these are pretty generously sized or circumferenced. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is exactly where you want your sleeve. You want it down past the wrist. You want it covering up the wrist. You don't want your sleeve up here showing you know, your wrist. You want it sort of over your wrist and encroaching on your hand. There's also a seam sort of running down the center of the sleeve that I wanted to point out here. Again, giving it some character. Uh, I, again, like I said, yes, I am wearing this without an undershirt. You are definitely going to want to wear this with an undershirt. But what I can tell you is it fits me perfectly. They are sized, you know, extra small, medium, large, extra large. So you don't have to know your uh, dimensions in inches or centimeters. Uh, I actually have plenty of room in the armpits here. Yeah, the shirt does raise up off my shoulders a little bit, but for the most part, uh, this is a pretty comfortable and well-fitting shirt. There's plenty of space. It does have a pretty decently sized uh, tail, so you should be able to tuck it in. But I would say that the tail is not long to the point where it's gonna look like a dress if you're wearing it. So you could definitely probably get away with wearing this shirt untucked. Okay, let's go ahead and try on the blue check shirt. Okay guys, so here I have the blue check shirt on. This shirt is also 97% cotton, 3% spandex. It fits exactly the same as the blue shirt. Uh, what I can tell you is wearing this without an undershirt, it does feel slightly more comfortable. It feels a little bit softer, a little bit smoother. Not sure if they are different shirts or not. Uh, they go by the same name, they come in the same sizes. The only difference between this shirt and the blue and white solid color shirts is the blue and white solid color shirts get four and a half out of five stars. This shirt gets five out of five stars. Uh, but what I can tell you about this shirt uh, right off the bat is this one I did open or unbutton the collar on. The blue shirt, I had the collar buttoned down so you can see for yourself uh, the difference between the two. Uh, I think this is a pretty nice casual look. Uh, what I can tell you right now is it does fit exactly the same. Uh, there is plenty of room in the armpits, in the shoulders, in the chest. I'm pretty comfortable. Also, as you can see here, I do have the shirt uh, untucked with a pair of shorts and it is the exact same length as the blue shirt was. Uh, I think you can pretty much tell by yourself that they are the exact same length, but it does look great worn casually untucked with a pair of shorts. I will say that here in Southwest Florida, you know, it's still going to be 70, 80 degrees come Thanksgiving day and Christmas day. So uh, yeah, wearing your dress shirt with a pair of shorts is definitely uh, a good look here in Florida. I don't know about you guys up north, but this is probably how I am going to dress to this year's festivities. They're the same name, they're the same price, and they come in the same uh, colors. They're built on the same material, have the same features. They're poplar shirts, long sleeve, stretch, wrinkle free. 97% uh, cotton, 3% spandex. And I was able to 
slip my hand through uh, with the button still button when putting this shirt on, which again indicates that uh, this shirt and the blue shirt are exactly the same. Again, if you want to go for a tighter look around the wrist, uh, it's as easy really as just buttoning the second button here. Uh, and I'll just show you what that looks like. Looks a little bit tighter. Uh, still the same length, obviously. Uh, or if you want to roll the sleeves up, excuse me, I can pretty much just roll these up like so. And um, yeah, what's actually really cool about this shirt is you do get a blue piece of fabric that is not uh, patterned. Uh, so yeah, this is actually a pretty sweet look if you want to roll the sleeve up on the blue check shirt. Anyways guys, yeah, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the George Men's and Big Men's Long Sleeve Stretch Poplar shirt I picked up at Walmart for $12.86. Out of five stars, this blue check shirt gets five out of five out of 51 customer reviews. The solid blue shirt gets four and a half out of five stars out of seven customer reviews. I did express my disinterest in the blue shirt, not having an undershirt on, it was a little bit uncomfortable. If you're interested in checking this shirt out, there will be two links in the description, one for the solid color shirt and one for the patterned shirt. Both are the exact same shirt, like I said previously. My name is John. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe. I will see you in the next one.